Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Marco. Today's video is an adventure we had at Cabo Polonio, Uruguay. Here is what you're gonna see. And er kackt sich in die Hose. And we already found a dead body on the way to the village. You want to eat here? No. <laughs> Why not? For non-native English speakers, you can add subtitles with automatic translation into your language with the YouTube app. Hallo zusammen, dieses Video ist auf Englisch, aber mit der YouTube App können Sie automatisch Untertitel in Deutsch hinzufügen. Konnichiwa minasan, kono doga wa eigo desu ga, YouTube app reo shiyo suru to anata no gengo ni jidoji mako tsuika suru koto ga dekimasu. Buongiorno a tutti, questo video è in inglese ma con l'app di YouTube puoi aggiungere sottotitoli automatici in italiano. Hola, este video sta in inglese, però con l'applicazione di YouTube puoi desagregar subtitolos automatico in spagnolo. Hallo allemaal, deze video is in het Engels, ma met de YouTube app kun je automatisch ondertitel in jouw taal toevoegen. Just a small recap on us for the new viewers. I'm Marco and I'm Italian. Lul is Dutch. We live in Germany and normally we tend to speak German to each other. But for the sake of this video we decided to speak English from time to time. In our videos you might hear us talking German, Spanish, Italian, Dutch, English and even Japanese from time to time. However, we understand that it can be confusing for our viewers when too many languages are involved. To make it easier for everyone, when we spoke German or other languages in the video, I added a manual translation in English to avoid confusion. The software doesn't translate when there are too many languages involved. And er kackt sich in die Hose. <laughs> to reach the sea in Cabo Polonio, you will need to take one of these trucks. They are operated by authorized local drivers and can be found at the entrance point of Cabo Polonio. We share our truck with some Brazilians, so if you hear someone shouting, it's the Brazilians.
finally we reached destination. It was a very bumpy ride. I didn't throw up at the end. And no one shitted himself. We arrived in Cabo Polonio. Uh, I think it's like... With the camion. <laughs> so he just came this big guy. It was quite a bumpy ride, but not as bumpy as we thought, so it was actually quite fun. <laughs> For me it was quite fun. For Marco it was a little bit less fun to get up and down the truck. <laughs> and we already found a dead body on the way to the village here. It did. A dead, whatever anymore you call them. So a dead of a dead of this one. Ah, yeah. Dead of this one. <laughs> it stinked a bit. <laughs> if I'm dead, I will stink as well. I think. Boarine. So and now we are going for a walk, and we will see what we will meet on our way. Bye. We are in Cabo Polonio, the lighthouse. We are gonna to find something to eat now. Do you want to eat here? Huh? Do you want to eat here? No. <laughs> Why not? We were not so sure where to eat, so we waited a bit longer and we went to look for sea lions. And we found this cute baby sea lion right in front of us. Of course I had to stop the video and stop the dog, so we shouted and the dog ran away. And the little sea lion managed to escape. Cabo Polonio is a small village located on the Atlantic coast of Uruguay. This remote settlement is known for its stunning natural beauty, including its long stretches of sandy beaches, rolling sand dunes and rocky coastlines. One of the things that make Cabo Polonio unique is that it's completely off the grid. There is no electricity, no running water and no paved roads. The village relies on solar power generators and rainwater collection system for its energy and water needs. One of the most iconic landmarks in Cabo Polonia is the lighthouse, which sits atop a rocky promontory overlooking the ocean. Even if the lighthouse was closed, you could still visit around it. A 
el Palacio de la Luna. Usar a casa hasta en Palacio. Yeah, we have two cats. Luna, a German one, and Neko, a Spanish one. Neko is black and Luna is grey. Loberia is where you can find the sea lions. And here they are, relaxing and sleeping the whole day, all together. Seals and sea lions are a common sight in the waters around Cabo Polonio. They are known for their playful personality and have become one of the biggest draws for visitors to this remote coastal town. While we were looking at the sea lion, we spotted a nest of sand hoppers. Now it's time to look for a restaurant or something similar to eat something. And we found these ducks behaving like chickens. And finally we found a restaurant. Yeah. And we were not alone. The walls of the house were made with glass bottles. And after lunch we went to explore the village. Sounds good. Yeah, it's 
gerade ein bisschen mehr. We found all sorts of stuff, an old TV and the bone of a whale. And that's what, yes. The finger there. The finger there. Yeah. Ganz geplant, ne? Wir machen das noch mal. Yeah. On the beach we also found skeletons and skulls of sea lions. And it's quite common to find dead sea lions on the beach as well. Stell dir vor, dass es dir gerade von deiner von deine Wohnung ist. <lacht> Das weiß er nicht, wenn ich das wusste. Wenn ich es nicht weiß, ist das knochig. Ja. Guck mal diese. Oh. Lass uns ganz ein wieder zurück, was auch nicht gesehen haben. Was haben wir sie nicht gesehen? Die Love? Ja? Die Love? Ja. The few people that were there gave up the hiking too soon and they didn't manage to see the sea lions. Before taking the truck back, we decided to go and see the sea lions again. This time there was more action. Two of them were fighting. And one of them was coming back from a swim and now climbing the stone. Just the 
weg. Ja, endlich. It looks like every of them have their own private spot. Neko. Seelove. And to go back, we took a different track, this one. Es ist besser. Oh, warte, weil vielleicht sie geht nach hinten. Ne? As we come to an end of our journey through the beautiful Cabo Polonio, we hope that you enjoy the stunning views and insight that we share with you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up with our latest travel adventures. If you have any questions or comments about Cabo Polonio, or if you have been there yourself and you have your own stories to share, please leave them in the comment section below. We love hearing from you and learn about your own travel experiences. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.